Hello, this is Vincent Salzillo from Double Exposure. I'm here with Frank DiLorenzo and Dan DiLorenzo from r and Games. And tonight, we've got a nice show for you. We're going to be uh, introducing Pass the Pot, the latest game from r and Games. Hello, this is Vincent Salzillo from Double Exposure. I'm here with... Okay, sorry about that. A few technical details. I'm going to pass it over to Frank right now, who is going to talk about Pass the Pot and okay. tell us all about uh, the, uh, the Genesis. Tell you all about Pass the Pot. Well, Pass the Pot is our uh, newest release, uh, 2020, that golden year. And uh, it comes in this handy dandy little tin, real slick looking there portable. Pop it open. You got the rules, multiple languages. You got some player aids, five players, two to five players. Pretty sure you want to play a three though. You got a bunch of chips and a bunch of dice, two different colors of dice. And they got the numbers one through five and the letters P-O-T. Pretty exciting, huh? It's already... Too much to handle. Anyway, we are actually going to play this game live today, so the excitement will not stop. But uh, this has been a game that we've been working on for quite a while now. It's, uh, I don't know, a couple of years at least where we've been tweaking it, trying to find the right packaging, the right time to bring it out, the coolest name we could find. And uh, I think we have uh, finally got it right because, hey, we, we published it, and it's out. It's literally on its way to stores as we speak. So, um, what else would you like to know, Vinny? Well, when you say it's gonna be in stores, how are, how are people gonna be able to buy it? Well, literally, the best thing to do is just go on the computer and find Pass the Pot, right? But if you have your local friendly game store, then you can walk on down there or pick up the phone or even check their website because they're gonna be getting them anytime now. They literally left our warehouse yesterday. They are on the trucks right now. And what's the price of this game? It's $15.99. It's a bargain. Look at the mound of chips you get in there. Look at the dice. It's incredible. But really, right. what you buy this for, you buy it for the fun, and you buy it for the cool name. That's what you buy. So you said this has been in, in development for two years. What has been the... Yeah, uh, it's easily been two years, yeah. Well, it's basically we wanted to really work out um, the little kinks of the packaging. Uh, it wasn't originally going to be in a tin, so we finally figured out, hey, we should put it in a tin. But um, we would looked at a lot of different ways to package it, always in a portable sense, because this is the kind of game you want to bring with you wherever you go and just pull it out and say, hey, you want to play Pass the Pot? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway. It looks like it can fit in your pocket. and uh, Yeah, pretty much. I mean, look at it. Pull it out, and the components are mostly waterproof, so it's a great bar game, too. What do you mean mostly waterproof? Yeah, I guess so. The paper part is not waterproof. Yeah, you don't want to get the paper wet, but uh, as far as playing it on a, on a counter or wherever you happen to be, that's great. I mean, I'm sure there's an underwater version of this, too. Oh, yeah, that's coming out. All right, it'll be an expansion to it. Absolutely. Okay. All right, cool. So uh, why don't you tell us about the game and the rules? And I think that uh, it'd be great if the three of us could play. But before we shift our cameras, why don't you go through the rules and tell our audience all about the game? It's a, it's a pretty simplistic uh, rules here, which is what we love. So you have, as you noticed, uh, a set of three green dice. And you had a set of three blue dice. You sure you don't want me to just... Well, sure. Why don't you shift your camera? Yeah, I'm going to shift my uh, camera down to the, to the game board here. Um, and basically, what you're looking at is we have three green dice and three blue dice. So the first player always starts with the green dice. Um, if you really want to, you can start with the blue dice, but I like to say start with the green dice. And you're going to roll these dice. And your object is to uh, get the highest value. Now you'll notice, I don't know if you can see that, but I got a P. That's partially on the way to getting pot. 
but I didn't make it. I got a two and a four. So my actual value here is six. And, you know, it's okay. It's not that high, though. It's not really that good. And what you're playing for here is to get the high, the highest roll you can. Does the P count as anything? No, it's a zero. Unless you get POT. In that case, you win the pot. Okay? So here's the idea. I've got this, and I can basically re-roll any of my dice. And what I'm trying to get is either a super high roll for total value or some sort of a combo that scores me points. And the combos are going to be either trips, like three twos, or it could be perhaps something like uh, the POT, which is a combo that wins the whole thing. The highest possible roll you can get in this game is POT. But you and just rolled the top. A that's top doesn't I want you to know it was the top roll. But in reality, it depends it on how you look at it as to whether you win or not. That's yeah, exactly. And then you could also have there's trips fives, of course, but you could also have three, four, five. Any run, any consecutive numbers is going to be good. The only ones you don't want to get in this game are the triple ones. That's actually just like a triple whammy. It's not good. It's a negative for you, in fact. So you don't want to get that. But we have these handy dandy little um, player aids that show you what the different uh, combinations are yeah. and what the value that you get for them are. And often what you're going to be doing is either getting extra tips from what is called the bank, or you might be taking chips from your opponents, or you might actually be taking chips from both the bank and then giving some out to your opponents. It all depends on what you roll, really. And then, of course, there is the pot itself, which I left the rules in here. This is the pot. So the pot stays okay. here, and it's going to be out in the middle, and it starts with two on here. This is what you're trying to win in the game. All right? And you can do it on top like that, or you can do it in there. It's whatever you like. It's your choice. But okay. just for show, I'm going to do it like this right now. So it's easy to see. So there you have your two chips on there. And I roll my first roll. So I just say I roll my first roll here. I hope a PO4. Before you continue, what are the different colors of chips? Uh, you have the red, the which is worth one right here. That's a one. And they are marked yeah. on there with the number. The blues are three. I'm not sure if you can see, see this here. Yeah, there you go. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. And then the uh, greens are five. And the game goes to 24. Because if you reach 24, you won. And you're only starting with three chips. So everyone starts with three chips. Is that an instant win when you hit 24? Uh, no. You have to finish the round, and basically someone could surpass you. Okay. okay? Now I, uh, I'm going to choose my one die to re-roll, and I'll get a one. This is a horrible Horrible roll, so like the lowest thing I can get. Right. So I literally could say, well, you know what? I'm going to pay one of my chips. All right, so, so hold on a second. You only yep. get one free reroll. One free reroll. That's it. You get one and only one. But I get to pay one chip if I like into this pot okay. and reroll uh, any of my dice. So I'm going to reroll one more time just in case I can get the pot. And I didn't, but I upped it to three. Wow, I'm excited. Did you have rerolled all three dice? I could have re-rolled as many as I wanted. Okay. I'm never restricted in my re-roll. Okay. But there's my final roll. It stays in front of me. Now the next person is going to take these dice, and he or she is going to roll, and they're trying to beat my score. Okay. And right now, this pot stays in front of me because I have the highest roll. So this person's got 4-3-P. They're going to re-roll their P for free, and they get a 2-3-4. Well, a two, three, four is a combo, and it beats my score. So the first thing they do is they get the pot, all right? And because they're locking themselves into the two, three, four, they're going to get paid out. So the two, three, four, as you can see here, is, hey, get a chip out of the bank. So they're going to take a chip out of the bank and add it to their score. So now they have four chips. Now, this is going to now go to the next player, as their turn, and that player will take the low set of dice. So my dice go to the next player. This stays to show the high that you have to beat. And this is going to continue that explains going why they around. The dice. Right. This is going to continue going around. If the person who has this pot 
his turn returns back to him, he has won the pot automatically. So he takes all of the chips and gets them all. Then you restart the round by putting two more chips in, and off you go. And he'll start. And who goes pot. first in the next round? I'm pretty sure it was him, but yeah, I think it's this person. But it's, we can it's the winner of the pot. Yeah, I think it's the winner of the pot. Winner of the pot goes first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. All righty. Before we actually play, do you just want to go over a few of the combos to give an idea of sure. how they work? Sure. Absolutely. So uh, you know, I mentioned that the triple one was the whammy. That's because you actually have to put chips back into the pot. So you have to have to pay three chips to the pot for getting those three ones. So you're going to increase. Uh, in fact, it goes to the bank. It doesn't even go to the pot. So you're just throwing them back into the bank. It's just a, a total loss for you. It's and you have to stop when you roll one three ones. You it's, it's a roll. one. It's a as soon as you get the whammy, you stop. That's it. You're done. So I think if, I think we just need to explain here that if you roll any other combo, it's your choice whether to keep the combo or to roll any of the dice. But if you roll three ones, that's it. You're stuck with them. That is absolutely correct. Yes. So uh, if you look at the other combos of the runs, uh, you've got the one, two, three, which is kind of unique in that you state you will take one from the bank, but you'll also get to re-roll the one and three dice for a final score. Mm -hmm. So it might increase your score. The two, three, four was just you get a chip. Yeah, it's just the most basic combo. Hold on, Frank. Going back to that one, two, three, if you re-roll yeah. the one and the three and you come up with another combo, do you score no, the combo again? No, you do not. You cannot score another combo once you okay. score the combo. So you're just going for points at that point? Just points at that time. It's just points. So uh, the three, four, five, um, literally uh, two people have to give you a chip or you take two chips from the bank. Okay. okay. Your choice? Uh, it's your choice. It's always going to be your choice. Um, the POT, as I told you, is a big one. You will actually get two coins from the bank. You'll get a coin from everybody. And you get everything that's in the pot. It's a huge, huge win. So you and the round get, stops at that point, right? The whole round stops. You've won the whole thing because you can't beat pot. Right. Yeah. You can quote me on that one. Okay. All right. So um, then we have the trips. I did the trip ones, but trips two, very simple. You can take two from a person. You can take two chips, one from each player. So from two different players. Or you can just take one chip from the pot. Um, and if you don't have chips to pay when someone asks you to pay, you don't have to pay. You mean one chip from the bank? Is that what I, oh, yeah, did I say the pot? Yeah. Yeah, the bank, sorry. So, uh, the chips, uh, threes, you're going to get two from the, uh, bank and one from someone else. You choose somebody? You choose. It's always your choice. Yep. The three fours, you're going to get two from the bank, uh, one from two different people. And uh, the fives, which is another nice one, you're going to get three from the bank. And then you're going to give two chips from the bank to two other people. So it's the height of generosity, that one. Okay. So that's pretty much the whole runs and the combos. So if you want to start into the passing of the pot, we can certainly do that. Have you ever been a professional hand model, Frank? Well, actually, no. I think I recognize those hands from Palmolive. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Well, just a quick note. Uh, uh, Patricia and Jay say hi. Hey, guys. Hey. How are you? How's it going? And uh, Bram Stroker, 34, is very excited about the combos. Nice. All right. So I'm just setting everybody up here. We got... Alrighty, so yeah. how are we going to do this now? You're going to basically have I'm to... I'm going to show you everything on the board, but you guys will do your own roles and just announce it, and we'll just show it on here. Okay, so you want us to... Do you want us to... I want you guys to really roll. roll. Yeah, we should see you rolling. You should, like, yeah. turn, the, thought, turn the cameras to your... I'm going to, your turn, my, I'm going to turn my camera so that... Yep. And Dan, you can angle yours down. Well, I'll do it when I roll. Okay, good luck with that. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, just a technical note for people: when my computer, I'm the one who's actually reading the uh, the comments. So, for the next ten minutes or so, I'm not going to be able to see your comments because 
So my camera's looking at the table. It's because we're playing the game. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is now. What are we betting on this? Oh, is this, is this, this is a thousand dollar game. Is that? Uh, Ooh, I like that. I mean, we got to show the, the seriousness of, of the I, game. I think we should we should bet a bottle of moonshine. Okay. All right. I'll see your moonshine. Okay. I see it. All right. Frank, what are you putting up? <laughs> what will I put up? Well, I can only put up a bottle of uh, scotch, of course. All right. All right. Well, um, in that case, I've got a, a, a hundred-year-old bottle of uh, Grand Marnier. There you go. All right, I'm going to start. Here we go. The first roll of the past the pot. Boom. Can you see that? Oh. Look at that. Two fives. I'm going to re-roll the two. Okay. It's a five. Oh. Oops. Oh. So I take three from the bank, and I actually have to give one to each of you from the bank. There you go. Okay. So there's my three fives. I'm going to pass the pot to no one. It stays with me with my three fives. And Vinny, you're up, so you're going to roll your dice. Let's see what you got. Right, so I'll just set the stage here, put three fives up, technically over there. All right, you in the pot. All right, here we go. P.O.T. Not even close. No, not even close. Did you even get a letter? Uh, I did not. However, I'll go for a combo by re-rolling the four. Fair enough. I got it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So what does a one, two, three get you? Let's take one from the bank. One from the bank. Okay. And re-roll the one and the three. Why do you have hey, you never know. <laughs> All right. So I got an O, but unfortunately, my final score is five. Not enough to overtake you. So you paid into the pot to re-roll, right? No, I oh. that was my free roll. Oh, why did you get a free roll? Oh, the one and the three, right? Yes. Right. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I'm just, already to, just not paying attention. here, I now have five chips in front of me. Yep. And I'm passing the blue dice to Dan because the green dice stay by Frank with his That's three fives. Right. He's throwing the pot. All right. Now, can you can you all see my board here? Yeah. Yep. All right. So here we go. So I have a four, four, three. Nice. And I am going to as nice as this, but hey, I'm going to re-roll my three. Okay. And I only have now I have wow. nine, so that's not enough. But I'm going to pay one in the pot. Pay one to the pot, and I get another roll. So I'm going to re-roll my my one. Thank you for feeding my pot. And I got three fours. Nice. Okay, so three right. fours. That's going to give you two from the bank. Two from the bank. And I get two from each of one from each of you. Okay, so I'm paying one to to Dan theoretically, but I'm just going to put it in the bank for now. Yeah, yeah, I've got it right here. Dan's got uh, seven right now. Right, you're the master over there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now it reaches back to me. The pot is still in front of me. So guess what? I get the pot. Yeah, you win the pot. Right. So now I'm going to put two in, and I'm going to restart. Well, you win the the toy metal pot. Something. There was another piece to that, wasn't there? Oh no, it was no. just the three fives, right? Okay, got it. No, there was there was the two and the three, the 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 one that Dan paid in. All right, so go ahead, Frank. You got the green dice. I think paid in one too. I don't know. Here we go. What do we got? Oh, other garbage. We don't want oh. any of that. Yeah, I think you should re-roll that three. I'm gonna re-roll the two one. <laughs> Check. Oh, look at that. Uh, that's worth paying one to the pot. Okay. Oh, I went down. Oh, you went down. <laughs> Went from an eight to a six. That's terrible. All right. Well, that's the number to beat there, Vinny. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This, one, this one's going to be easy. Two, two, five. Hmm. It already beats it. I know, but that's not going to be good enough. You can just sit on it. I'm going to re-roll the five. Oh, my God. You're going for lower. No, didn't make it. I'll point okay, out, if you got a two, one, that's not enough to beat me. So it, it's it's uh, as if you just basically yeah, didn't yeah, get yes, it. Yes, it is. That's, that's seven. No, I said if you got a two, you would have tied me, and a tie does not beat me. But I, I was going for points. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, you have a two, three, two. All right, so I have a seven. Um, so we I'm put the pot in front of you. seven and pass it to Dan at this point. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, so the pot moves to Vinny, and Dan will roll the green dice. Dan has rolled the dice only one time so far. He's now choosing which dice to roll. Okay, can you see my board? Now yeah. He has chosen to roll the green dice. So I have oh. a B and a T. I'm going to roll the two. <laughs> All right, oh, I'm going to pay so one. He pays one into the pot. He's going to try again. <laughs> Off the table. If there's a slot to be found. Yeah, you'll find I have one. a five. Okay, yeah. so he has a five PT, right? Yeah, so um, not enough only to be five anything. points, unfortunately. So you're 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 not going to do anything, <coughs> right? So I'm going to take the green dice and I'm going to try and beat Vinny's minuscule score. Can Vinny actually get away with just? No. Nope. Oh, look at this. Okay. That's ten points right there, buddy. Ten ah, points. I see it. Free roll. Thirteen. Wow. Do I go for the higher? I'm already higher than you, no matter what. That's true. I think I'm pretty much higher than both of you. <laughs> if you re-roll, you're going to get a one. It doesn't matter. It'd still be higher. So you're going to lose. All right, I'm going to pat. I'm going to. I'm going to stay with that, and I'm going to keep the pot. So I take the pot. All right. So you roll the blue die. All right. I'm on the blue dice, and what? What is it? Thirteen. You got to be thirteen. Thirteen is the number to beat. A five five three. three. It's a five five three. Three, four, five. Hmm. Woo. That's a tough call. Good for you, Vinny. Good for you. I am going to take the three, four, five. He takes the three, four, five. That's not three, enough five. to beat me, but that is worth that. points. And I'm going to take one token from each of you. Is that what it does? Yep. Yep. And he gets two from the bank, or he takes two from the bank. So he's going to take okay, one so from I'm each. Deci I'm deciding okay. to take one from each oh, of you. I now have he has done. Dan, take the blue dice. 13 is the number to beat. Now, there's an interesting strategy here. Yeah. I'm not necessarily out of the round, because if Dan beats you, That's I get correct. it. That's correct. I'm going to re-roll all the dice. Okay. okay. For his free roll, he re-rolls all the dice. And he has a four five. Oh, want to pay one just to make it go? I am. All right, he pays one to the pot. <coughs> Spitting on the dice. Spitting on the dice. This is disgusting. Yeah, that's uh. There go. Oh, 13. So I tie. Not good I enough. Don't, I don't beat him. Yeah. Okay. So wait, 13. So you got a four, huh? Well, wow, that's too bad. All right, so just to clarify, a tie is treated as a lower number, right? That is correct. Ties are always not enough. You must beat All right. the score. All right, so you win the pot right. again. Once again, I win the pot. Well, well, well. I'll put two new ones in there. So take three here. All right. So here so we go. Right now, what, what do we have for a score? I have, I have four. You have four. Vinny has six, and I have 11. All right. I think the hand model is cheating. There yeah. we go. Not the best you know, roll. So dazzled by his perfect fingernails. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll these two. Going for the high score again. Oh, that's an 11. Huh. It's tempting. You should pay for it. Pay. It Don't be a baby. Tempting. Just pay for it. Do it. No, I'm going to stick with the 11 for now, and we'll just uh, let right. Vinny take the blue dice. Go ahead, Vinny. So that's, what was that, a three, three, five? Three, three, five. I got a three, three, five. Can be accurate while people are watching my board. Okay, there we go. As Here are the blue dice. Here we go. Trying to beat the 13. Oh, look at that. Except it's not a 13. It's an 11. A T and a 1. All yeah. right, so we're going to re-roll that one. Yep. That's a 2. Ooh, All right, one? I'm going to pay. Okay, one. Ah, well. Nope, wah, wah, wah. Passes right, so the score to beat is 11? I have an 11, yeah. Well, just okay, clarify, I got to beat 11. Just to clarify, I have no limit to the number of chips I can pay to re-roll, right? No, you have oh, one re-roll to pay, and that's it. Yeah, you do have Oh, so I can't decide to pay another chip and roll it. No, 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 no. Okay. No, it's a one-shot deal. Okay. You guys see me rolling? 
Go Dan. Ooh, yeah, go for trip ones. <laughs> I'm going to roll the two ones over. Oh. And I'm going to pay, let's see. Wow. I'm going to pay one more. Wow. I'm going to re-roll re these. Trying to go for the high score? Nope, I didn't do it. Wah, wah. And Frank takes the pot three times in a row. Oh, this is sickening. To and you me. laughed at my 11, sir. You were laughing at it. All right, so Frank will change another one. Put two in, throw one in. Here we go. Going for a sweep. Looking for a pot, but he gets a little bit of everything. Three, five, three. Wow. I'm going to stick with the five. Really? Okay. There's a four and a one. I'm going to re-roll the one. Okay. Pay that money. And it's four. Ha, 13 again. I'll hold on to that. Blue dice, Vinny. Okay. All right. Got to do better than last time. <laughs> uh, one, no, no, apparently not. Oh, I'm going to re-roll the one and the O. Ooh. <sighs> not much to I'm make there. One. No, I'm going to pay one and re-roll the P and the two again. Okay. Close. I got a 10. Not good enough. All right. Dan's up. Holy cow. <laughs> I got to beat a 13. Here you go, baby. 15. 15, three fives? Three fives. Three nice. Five. So three now I, I immediately take three from the bank. Yep. And you each no, no, take no. one. You yep. take five from the bank. Well, no, you, well, have, you have to give two more. You're right. I take five from the bank, but yeah. I, uh, I have to give one to each of you. So you All each right. take one. All right, so that's the number to beat. And, ladies and gentlemen, the pot, pot again. is in front of me. So the only thing that beats this at this point is pot. That is correct. That is correct. And that's the O of the pot. Let's find the P and the T now. Oh, failure. It's not worth feeding the pot, so I'm going to pass it to Vinny. Yeah, I don't think it is. All right. I'm rerolling Come on, the Vinny. One. What do you got? Yeah, the green ones. Okay. All right, here we go. P O T. Maybe O P T. If you opt for it. P. Nope, nothing doing. And Dan wins the pot of four. <laughs> and he will start with the blue dice. No, he will start with the green dice. Oh, he chooses the green dice. This is an interesting strategy that Dan has. It, it's not a strategy, it's the rules. <laughs> The tide is turning from the hand model. Looking three. Oh, some lovely knuckle hair two. you've got there. Dan. What? That's some lovely knuckle hair you've got there. Yes, thank you. <laughs> four, four, two. I rolled a one. I'm going to pay to roll one more time. Going for it? Oh, yes, I am. I'll prepare it for you. There we go. Ten. Ten is the number to beat. You got a two. Okay. Ten is the number. Ten is the number to beat. <laughs> okay, Frank, your turn. Blue dice. Here we go. Ooh, good roll. Interesting. Go for the two. Go for the two. I think I will. Hmm. Now, you should pay. You could beat that. All you need is a four. Yeah, I'm going to re-roll two dice. All you need is... Oh, he gets a ten. Not enough. Ooh. Over to you, Vinny. Not enough. Okay, we're enough. Off. All right, two fives. Nice. And we roll this one die. What, what, what are you on? You're on 10, so I beat you already, basically. Yeah, you were, well, you got, yeah, no, you didn't beat me. If you roll a letter, you didn't beat me. Yeah. I got it. Okay, 11. Oh, please. I'm stick with 11. Okay, not a problem. So that was a 5-4-2, Vinny? Oh, 5-4-1. Five, 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 well, that's a 10. 5-5 five, five, and 1 is 10? Oh, 5-5. Five, five. Sorry, I, I misheard you. 
He's a hand model. He can't do math. There you go. Five, five, one. All the blood goes to the fingers, you know. Yeah. All right. Easy pickings. Here we go. Hold on. Winnie, you didn't have to pay one for that extra roll, right? I did not pay one. That's correct. Thank you. I'm going to keep up my five and re-roll a three and a one. I have a nine. I'm going to pay one more to roll. Here we go, baby. There you go. 13. Hey, he's got a 13. Suck it, Vinny. All right. It's a big roll. Let's see what I can come up with here. Well, I got a five. Another five. Well, it's worth going one more. Yeah, pay that ship. Yes. Three fives. <laughs> Bingo. All right, okay. well, I get three for that one, and you each get one. I'll uh, be rolling pot. Dan, I think this is fixed. I think, yeah, I think the hand out. model has the uh, mat tilted a certain way. <laughs> You're up, Vinny. Eight. All right, three fives on the blues. I roll the greens. All right, this is really, as you all can see, this is really easy to roll POT. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen people do it though on the first roll. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't it. So we're just yeah. gonna take our free roll and roll all three. Yeah, nothing doing. No combos either. Yeah, all yours. Oh, you're not gonna pay a chip? For what? All right. You could still get a combo. Yeah, not not worth it in, in the actual uh odds. I kinda like having the chips in the pot. Here you go, baby. Here it comes. Keep your eyes peeled for a P. Oh, and Mr. T. Uh, where are they? <laughs> I'm going to try it again. I was keeping my eyes open. Did you just keep a five? No, I rolled all three. I'm paying one into the pot. There, three threes. Three threes? Okay, so three threes. Um, I'm going to take one from each player. All right. No, that's not three threes, Dan. It's yes. two, two from the bank and one from a player. Take two from the oh, bank. Oh, from one other player. Oh, I'll take it from Frank. Okay. And I'll so just I'll take in front of the pot full of chips. All right, how many how many chips do you have now, Frank? I'm going to trade in, let's see here, four or five reds, get a five. Uh, that gives me 22. Uh-oh. I am on the verge, right, so sir. Okay. Well, wait, 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 hey, I think everybody wants to know what the scores are here. Oh, Dan has uh, 11, and Vinny has 6. Yep, nothing doing but here. Frank, again, <clears throat> 22. All right, here we go. I, I was even planning to go to Las Vegas after this. Uh, ah! 4-4, this... four, four. I'm going to re-roll. The 3. Uh, let's see. I really, I really got to re-roll this one. Boom. Nope, went down. It's a nine. You really had to re-roll it, yeah. I did. Because right. I would have hit 24 otherwise. Okay. I'm rolling the blue dice. Rolling the blues. This Trying is a big round for me. Nine. Nine. I told you it was a big round. You're rolling the one. Going for the combo. It's three, four, five. And I believe a high score of 12. Yeah. Okay, take one from two different players. I'm going to take one from each of you. Bing, bing. All right, so 12 is a number to beat, right? Yep. Green dice for you. All right. It's still time to make my comeback. I've seen better comebacks. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to keep the four and re-roll the three and the one. And I just got that again. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to do it again. How do you like that? I don't like it. Are you paying one or not? Yeah, I paid one. Oh, you have to announce it because I can't see. All right, so I, I'm out. Okay. Up to you, Frank. So I got to beat a three, four, five? Yep. So you got to beat 12. Also true. Mm. Oh, you oh, gotta, I gotta go for this. Oh boy, I gotta go for this. 
Here we go. Come on, P. It's a two. I pay one. It's a three. Vinny wins. Everywhere except on the camera. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Vinny How takes the pot. How many were in the pot? There four. were like four, I think. No, three. Only three. Actually. No, there's four, I think. Because I paid one. Four this now. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You have twelve now. Eleven, twelve. Yep, I got twelve. And Dan nine, has nine, uh, nine. Yeah. And four. I'm going to give you a fiver. And Frank has nineteen. I'm going to down a little bit. Wait, I'm wait. Gonna... I have eleven, Frank. You have nine. Uh, no, you had ten because I took one from you when I rolled the three. Yeah. Four. And now you have nine because you paid one on your last roll. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is Vinny's turn. I'll give you the green dice because you like to start with the green dice. Oh, I like to start with the green dice. I don't know. It's what it says in the rules, so we should I probably know. follow I just the rules. Follow rules you know. I know All you're right. not much for rules, Frank. All right, three, four, four. Hmm. Ooh, strong roll. Roll the three. Four, four, five. I'm going to keep that. Okay. It's a thirteen. Okay, Easy enough. Here we go. Keep the five. Oh, okay. doesn't look good. Dan looks like he's going down in flames. You paying the chip? I paid the chip. Yep. Oh, three, That's four, five though. Combo. So I get uh, I get one from each of you. Three, four, five. <clears throat> right, okay. So Vinny continu continues to keep the pot. Yeah, that's up to you, Frank. 13's the number to beat. One from Vinny. So Dan is up to 10. 13, huh? I'm up a lot more than that. Oh, well, I'm gonna go for the score. I have 13 there. I'm going to re-roll one. Oops, that goes into the pot, not into the bank. <laughs> fives! Oh. Boom! The trip fives for Frank again. He takes three. He gives you each a little bit of his largesse. There you go. Have a drink on me. And uh, let's see now. That comes to me. Vinny, would you like to try for the pot? Only because there are four chips in the pot. There are four chips. That wasn't it. Hey, don't forget you're playing for second place at this point. <laughs> yeah. Is that a combo? No, nope, not like it. Okay. Oh, actually, wait a minute. You're going to win this round, right? I have 10, 19, 20. No, I might. Yeah, I will win if I win the pot. Yeah. Well, if I don't go for it, uh, at least get something. We'll That's right. for it. Now you're fighting for second place, probably, because you never. What kind of attitude is that, Vinny? Just go for it. Your fives. You guys don't even know how to roll pot. I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to re-roll the. Uh... There's the line of the game. You don't even know how to roll pot. I'm going to re-roll the. Uh... Let's see which is better, one, two, three, or two, three. Hey, four. listen, if you don't roll all three and go for pot, you're not getting your Doritos tonight. Obviously, two, three, four is worth more than one, two, three. Okay, all right, I will listen to you, although that's gotten me in plenty of trouble in the past. Yeah, so what? Uh, <laughs> three, three, five, not good enough. Was that paying a chip, Vinny? I did already. You already paid a chip. Oh, I end up with no, 11. I, I don't think I put it in the pot, so. <coughs> All right, so I end up with 11 chips. Go ahead, Dan. Right, yeah. All right, here we go. Dan is trying to save his game right here. This is all on the wire. Oh, nary a letter. He's going for it. He's going for the pot. Oh, what's this? Is that close? You get a T? I do have a T. I'm going for it. Here we go. He's going for it. Look at that. I'm putting one in the pot. What's one in the pot? Oh, P! Oh, so close! Oh, so close. Wah -wah. And the winner of the first Pass the Pot game. That's right, it's me. Dan, you got 10 in front of you? 
What's that? Dan has nine, ten. Yes. Vinny, okay, I've got seven. eleven. I've got second place. Dan falls to third place. Oh, oh, the the horror. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. It's always fun. I love this game. This is great. It's a, it's a fast game. It's a fun game. Let's take a look and see what some people have been saying about this. Yes. All right. Um, Spirit Guardian 1. This looks fun. I enjoy 10 games like this. Um, game Goddess says, hello from me too. <coughs> Mziz Green says, love these dice. Looks cool. <laughs> uh, Bram Stoker says, I like Moonshine. I think that was from a while ago. All right. <laughs> Nick Waltzer was saying Frank is a machine. Uh, Disney Princess is, in fact, asking if Frank was cheating. So I am a professional. Come on. Just saying it wasn't just us, all right? <laughs> uh, and continues to say somebody needs to check Frank's dice. All right. So. They're always fives. Yeah, Nick, Nick Waltzer blames my roll of 13. Oh, well, you know, that's the way that goes. All right, um, and M. Ziz Green says, congrats, Frank. Disney Princess says, interesting. Uh, M. Ziz Green says, I'd like the payout explanation for a 222. 222. It is, uh, let's see. The 222 says. You get either two from a player or one from two different players or one from the bank. So you can get two if you steal, one if you take it from the bank. And that usually happens only because your opponents have no chips, that you end up taking just one from the pot. Usually early on in the game at that point. That's a good question, right? Yeah. One from the bank, just to be clear, one from the bank. Uh, the Ginger Chef. I came on too late to see the actual rules, but it looks like there was a good level of excitement. We had fun. That, that was a fun game. It was fun. And it does play with up to five people, too. <clears throat> and Ms. Is Green says, ah, got it. Yeah, yeah these, are, these are very simple rules. These, these are, like, once you, once you are playing the game, you barely need to look at the, uh, the reference cards. Again, when you're halfway through the game, it's good. Once you play it, it comes naturally. You, you got to know all the combos. And you can make up your own combos. Because, right. you know, what happens if you get top? What happens if you get, you know, something different? Opt. Opt. Yeah. <laughs> Disney Princesses no looks like a good wolf for the holidays. Uh, the ginger chef asks, and realizing the ginger chef came in late, asks, besides the dice and the two trays, what else is there equipment wise? So the, the chips. The chips. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and instructions in four languages and five reference cards. Yep. And these handy dandy little doohickeys here. That well, Frank, I disagree with you that it plays best with three. I think having a larger crowd of four or five people. I never said it plays best in three. Where did you hear that? I thought you had said we, uh, at some point in the past that. Uh, oh, no, I said that you can play it in two, but it's better to have at least three. Oh, right. Okay, sure. In a larger crowd, this gets a lot ro more raucous than, oh, yeah. than this. You get a lot more volatility yeah. because. Well, plus, we didn't roll, nobody rolled the pot tonight. And yet, I've played this game right. where people roll the pot, I mean, several times. So. And the ginger chef says, so that is kind of awesome. Fits right in, the, in a pocket. Yep, that's that's it really yeah. does. Yeah. Or a backpack. Right, so we've, got under, we've got about 15 minutes left in this session. And I wanted to ask, now that we've seen past the pot, what else is coming up from r and Games in the next couple of months? Well, the most exciting one that we have coming up is going to be uh, Mystic Paths. Um, and I'm sure we can give you a little glimpse of that game. That's kind of a cool strategy game where you're trying to um, give information to your partner in the game. And this can be played cooperatively. It can be played in teams or it can be played as an individual as well. So it's a very versatile game with a lot of replay value. Uh, can we get a shot of the box? Yep, we certainly can. Okay, this is a shot of the box. There's the Mystic Paths. 
And uh, you're basically a uh, kind of a wizard's apprentice who's been dropped into the uh, Forbidden Forest and you have to find your way out. But every time you encounter... Guys, get out of this view. I can't see anything. What's that? Oh, or is this not coming up for you, Andy? Please, like, take, take off that view. Oh, okay. So we can't see that. The mysterious hey, scene. <laughs> Okay, I guess uh, I guess you could just go ahead and, and describe them. Yeah, basically, uh, what you're trying to do is you have a board that uh, it has very cool miniatures, which I should have pulled out because I have them here. Uh, but they, um, you as you move along this path, you have a treasure map, and the treasure map is showing you which way to go to get out of the forest. Uh, but the problem you have is every time you move, there's another spell in your way, another ward. And you have to break through that. So in order to do that, you can only communicate to the other players what you're trying to describe, and they have to say the word out loud because you cannot utter the word that's in front of you. So, and these are all basically famous things, people, places, um, and you have to describe it to them, but you have a hand of cards. And on the cards are the only words you can use to describe these things. So you have to be very careful in choosing what to describe because you're in a circular map and there are literally up to four or five different paths that could lead from where you are. So you have to describe what's in front of you to show the correct way. So if I look and looking at, for example, I don't know, uh, the Empire State Building. I have to find a word that's going to describe it without basically ruining my hand for the rest of the game. Uh, so maybe I'm lucky and I have the word tall. Uh, let's just hope that none of the other words on the board next to me are tall because everyone's going to have to pick which one I'm going for. I'm trying to communicate to you, but I have a very limited way of communicating. Uh, it's a very challenging game. It is an absolute blast and uh, a lot of different ways to play it. Yeah, great. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Frank. Yeah. Let's talk about some games that are here right now. Oh, there we go. Like the Rajas of the Ganges roll and write, the Dice Charmers. So this game is out. It's been out for about three and a half weeks. So it's available at your friendly local game store. You can buy it online. Um, and then if you like Rajas of the Ganges, this is a, a cute little game that people are really picking up quickly for the holidays, and they're really enjoying it. But in addition to that, hold on, Dan. Just just to, uh, to be clear, this is a completely separate game from the big Euro game, Rajas of the Ganges, right? It is, yeah. So this yeah. is a roll and write version. So this is a total standalone game. Okay. What's the list price on that? Twenty-two dollars. Fantastic. Yeah. And then uh, for those of you that may not be aware, we came out with the goodie box last year. This is six expansions for Rajas of the Ganges. Um, we've now come out with another goodie box, the goodie box two, and this is six more expansions. So there's a ton of replayability with Rajas of the Ganges. And if you haven't played it yet, you have got to get this to the table. This is a highly enjoyable game, it plays up to four players. It has gorgeous components in it. It has a ton of colorful dice in it. And it's something that you're going to want to play over and over. And then when you buy these expansions, it really adds uh, a, quite a mix to the entire game. So these are currently available now. What a great Christmas gift. And but you know, what else? you know what else that we have that is coming out next year? Something that you don't know about? It's this. It's Witchstone. Yes. Ooh, Witchstone. That's coming out soon. We're going to get it probably early next year. It's a Reiner Knizia co-designer. Can we see the box, not your face? There you go. You weren't looking before. You have to pay attention to it. No, I box. did, but then you put it away, and all we saw was your ugly mug going close like this. And his hands, to be fair, his hands. No, his hands are nice, but uh, he didn't shave. It's embarrassing. I can't shave. I can't shave I, my hands. <laughs> I'm going to cut my hands. Tampa is under a, a boil water advisory. They blew uh, the main water here. We can't use water. Can't use tap water. So glad I'm in New Hampshire away from him. 
You're just jealous. Yeah. We don't Not at all, Stinky. I mean, Frank. We don't even need the water. Yeah. We're, we're in real states here, New Hampshire and New Jersey, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Vinny, I took a shower at 111 degrees today. How about you? 112. Got your beat. <laughs> yeah, I went in the pool today. <laughs> That's how you've been oh, showering. Yeah, with the old water? <laughs> yeah, it's the old water. Yeah. With the old water? Pristine water. Clean water. Uh, Nick Walter is suggesting you shave with tequila. So, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, at least it'll it'll help the wound at the same time. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right. So there's one other game you wanted to tell us about, isn't there, Frank? Yeah, but I mean, if I can't show it to you, what's the point? Yeah, you can you can you could uh, you could preview it a little bit. No, we'll preview it next time. It's coming right. out later next year. Don't worry about it. All right. Cool there's nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. So uh, going back to Ganges for a moment, uh, this actually exists in the virtual world as well. Um, I think it's on Tabletop Simulator, right, Dan? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, if you're interested in getting a, uh, a demonstration of the game, there are Rajas of the Ganges games going up on the Envoy Gateway. Those of you who don't know about the Envoy Gateway, it is a place where you can find demos of virtual games. And if you like them, there are plenty of links showing you exactly where to buy them for the holidays, for whenever, for people, special people in your house. And while you're still stuck indoors for the pandemic, a really cool game like Rajas of the Ganges is a great pastime to put onto the kitchen table and then forget about the rest of the world. <laughs> the Envoy Gateway can be found at www.envoygateway.com. You can actually meet some pretty cool people there. I've played a couple of games on there. It's been a pretty nice experience. Yep, things are filling up. The account is free. Um, you can RSVP to events that you like, and um, all you have to do is show up at the correct link. So what are you guys doing for the holidays? Sleeping. Go first. Literally. What was that? Sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I know that feeling. Non-stop work around here. So I, I can't wait to have another break. I had a break on Thanksgiving. And I'm looking forward to my next one at Christmas. <laughs> I, I do feel like I slept through a lot of Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Dan, what about you? Uh, I mean, I the same thing. I mean, it's just been nonstop work, and uh, I'm not going to be visiting family or friends, so uh, I'll do a little baking. I will send some baked goods to certain people. Um, it better be me. But uh, <laughs> that's it. That's That's about it. Yeah, I, I'm uh, sorry that this year is ending on a note where we're all kind of trapped still, but uh, hopefully there is a light at the end of the tunnel, one way or the other. Um, I think we're right. having a great time with these. Was oh, it? The light, the light, it's big. <laughs> yes. Very bright. I think, I think that uh, we're having a great time with these broadcasts, and I would definitely like to get the two of you back in January. Um, we'll pick a date, we'll post it to the Envoy Gateway, and. Um, Pick a new topic. The record, I made uh, I made chicken piccata tonight. I, I made uh, glass noodles tonight. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah, I remember I was washing the meat. What's that? You were washing the meat, remember? I was washing the meat earlier while you were having technical difficulties. By the way, I do apologize, folks, for the technical difficulties we had here. We're still learning this stuff. We, we should get it straight by 2027. <laughs> Uh, note to self, can't show graphics while doing this as a uh, a Twitch transfer. Okay, we'll figure that one out. And there is a way to do that, though. There is a way to do that. We just didn't pre prepare it. Yeah. Yep. All righty. So um, I think it's a, it's a good place to break. And I'm going to say happy holidays to the two of you mm -hmm. and to everybody who has been watching and everybody who will watch this afterwards. This will be posted up on YouTube and will be available to everybody within about two weeks. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, I want much. to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Definitely wear your mask. Frank, do you have anything to say before we go? Happy Holidays. Okay. Happy Holidays. Okay.